He loves to give and He wants you as His children to have that same nature. He wants you to experience what He experiences. You know what? It gives God pleasure to give to you. He loves to give to you. And He loves to, for you to receive his, his gifts that He has new for you every day. And He wants you to learn how to be like Him. He wants you to change from that selfish, self-centered nature to a nature of giving to other people and loving to give. Not just out of duty, but really loving to give. Now some of us, at Christmas time, we, we experience that just a little bit. We go out and we sacrificially <coughs> buy things and we wrap them up pretty and we... we uh, have an anticipation of watching the eyes of our little children and grandchildren and our husbands and our wives, people that we care about, our friends, open these presents and see the expression of gratitude on their face. But you know what? We don't have to wait till Christmas to give or to receive that. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord has instituted a spiritual law. Now, we have a lot of natural laws, and of course, the law of gravity says if we go on top of this building and we jump off, I don't care how much faith you have, I don't care how good a Christian you are, I don't care if you pray all night and all day and you fast for a week and you get up on the building, I believe that the Lord can, when I jump off this building, that He's not going to let me hit the ground. Now, you can go do that, but the natural law is not going to, to be changed. God is going to let you fall down and then He's going to, and when you start questioning why He didn't help you, He's going to say, well, I've already given you the law of gravity. You need to understand that that, that is not for this time. So, He said, in His spiritual law, give and it shall be given unto you. Now, this is not a, a uh, investment strategy, Okay. This is not the stock market. This is not a retirement plan. This is a spiritual law that says whatever you give, God is going to give it back to you. Amen. Whether it's money, whether it's time, whether it's your gifts and abilities, whether it's a word of kindness, a random act of kindness that you show somebody, no matter what you do, it will be given back to you. He even goes into a... A, a deeper theology of this when he says in Galatians 6, 7, for whatever a person sows or gives, that shall they also reap. Amen. Whatever. You know, if you need love and affection from other people, you give it. If you need compassion, you give it. If you need somebody to understand and listen to you, you become that person to somebody else and God will meet your need. Amen. He also said in 2 Corinthians 9, 6, the person who gives sparingly just a little bit will also reap just a little bit sparingly. And the person who sows or gives bountifully, gives a lot, they shall reap also bountifully. So whatever it is, not just the, the, uh, the thing that you're giving, whether it's money, whether it's time, whether it's love and affection, whether it's helping a little child, uh, whether it's uh, helping a hungry person, whether it is uh, uh, going to a hospital and making a visit, whether it's going to a nursing home and, and uh, encouraging somebody, whatever that is that you do, God is going to return that to you. And not just the thing, but how much you give is how much you're going to get back. Amen. You know, I have a lot of people say to me, well, Brother Mark, I, I just think I don't have nothing. You know, everything's going wrong in my life. Uh, you know, and, and, and I don't understand it. And I, and I don't ever say this to them, but I, this is my thoughts. When was the last time you were in church? Mm -hmm. When was the last time that you helped a hungry person? Yes. When was the last time that you, you uh, put your arms around a little child that was crying and you tried to give them comfort? Or to a, 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 a single mother that was struggling in their life and, and you you stopped to, to minister to that person. And in most of these cases, these people have never given of their self to anybody and they're struggling now. And they wonder why. You know, this, this spiritual law 
is a law of sowing and reaping. It's, it's a it's a uh, example of, of uh, what happens in the springtime. You go out and you plant things. You plant seeds. And in the fall, there's a harvest. And yes. you will reap or you will get whatever you plant. You, right. you put out tomato, small tomato plants. By, by early summer, middle of summer, you'll be getting big old tomatoes, delicious yes. tomatoes that taste good. But if you don't plant anything, you're going to go to the grocery store and you're going to get the cardboard tomatoes that don't have any taste. <laughs> and so, unless you've got some good friends that have planted. And so, giving is, is totally different with God. It's not, it's not about what am I going to receive, but it's about what am I going to give Amen. away. Yes. Amen. And you're going to find that there's a lot of joy in that. The Lord Jesus Christ enjoyed it. The second thing in God's economy that we got all messed up and it's upside down, and I say God's economy is messed up, upside down, but your economy and my economy is the one that's upside down. God's got it right, and we're on the upside, we're on the upside down part of it. And that is the the idea of ministering or helping other people. Our Lord said this when He was on the earth. Now again, you're talking to a creator of the universe. You're talking to a, a, the son of God that, that had everything, uh, uh, angels waiting on him day and night, uh, people loving him, caring for him. Uh, God, Jesus never had a bad day in heaven. And you won't either when you get there. And, and he had everything going for him. And so when he came to earth, his whole economy changed. Jesus said this, the Son of Man, talking about Himself, that has came not to be ministered unto, but to minister to others and to give His life for a ransom for many. Mm -hmm. The Lord Jesus Christ came down here to serve not just the people that He walked around and served for three years upon the earth, those that He healed, those that He took care of, those that He ministered to, His family members, His friends, uh, all the people that He touched and uh, associated with during the 33 years he was on earth. But he came down here to minister to me and you today. He is your minister. I'm just a, 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 uh, uh, an assistant, below an assistant, below an assistant. I'm, I'm way on down the, the, the food chain <laughs> of being a minister compared to who the Lord Jesus Christ is. He still wants to minister to you. Amen. Yes. Ministry is a little bit deeper and a little bit bigger than just giving. Ministering is seeing a need and going out and meeting the need. Amen. Amen. Finding some way to help people. Yes. Finding some way to bless people. He has come to give you abilities and gifts so you can help other people. It's not about making you feel good. Church is not about making you feel good and you come into church and you, you being able to walk out of here and say, boy, that was a good sermon or that was a good song, that touched my heart. Or uh, It's not about that. That's great. It, 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 centered, it focuses your mind upon the love of God and what God has. But what it is, is about you walking out of here and ministering to other people that need what you have. Listen to this in Isaiah 58, 10, 11. Feed the hungry and help those in trouble. Then your light will shine out from the darkness and the darkness around you will be as bright as the noon. Do you feel darkness all around you right now because of your... your uh, Maybe you don't. You feel hurt. Maybe you feel uh, some other thing. But you don't. You don't. You feel like you're uh, all by yourself, and nobody can see you, and nobody can uh, understand your pain. So when you do these things, all of a sudden the darkness is going to go away, and there's going to be light all around you. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry, and restoring your strength. You will be like an ever-flowing spring. Amen. 